Okie dokie. Well, morning, everybody. Well, I had just finished up my stream here about 15, 20 minutes ago. Um, and I and I kind of wanted to do a, a second video or kind of a tutorial video on uh, the raid boss event in this game. Um, I couldn't really do it yesterday. It was just uh, poor preparation and stuff. So I did a I did a subpar, not as good video yesterday, but I so I thought I'd go ahead and do a better one today. And then, like usual, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. Um, this time it's "Beautiful Death" by Still Waters. It was just a, it was just the next album that came up on my shuffled playlist. So just going with that. Um, I would actually really love to play some loud rock music to drown out uh, what's one of the most awful voiceovers I've ever heard. Um, and considering what I'm about to be doing in this video, you're gonna be hearing it a lot, but I also need to be able to, I need to be able to concentrate as well, so I gotta, I need to be able to focus and, you know, being able to, being able to talk and all that, so, the lighter stuff it is. And whoops. Okay, so, but, anyway, um. It is the raid boss event. It's a guild event. So, you know, it's everybody in the guild participates. And then, um... Back. Yeah, so you kind of see... You, you kind of... You can kind of get an idea as to how this event works. Uh, Frozen Tarask, he is going to be the obvious raid boss that you're going to have to kill in every, uh, in every battle. And then... Recent recent update, they kind of they made it so that uh, you're required to have one of your have a certain troop in your uh, in your team. And this time around, it's probably going to be one of the worst. I'll kind of explain as we as we go in. This time around, I was smart enough to kind of leave one in the chamber here, so I can actually actually demonstrate how the battle works. But yeah, you're just going to be you'll start on stage one, and eventually you'll work your way to stage five. Um, see, and just like a lot of other events, there's going to be some kind of uh, troop restriction. In this case here, all your troops have to be from the Volpacia Kingdom. Like I, like I said a, a minute or two ago, uh, the way they do uh, the way they do some of these events these days, you're basically required to have a certain troop, and this time around, it's one of the worst. But in all these other raid bosses, um, you have a, some of these troops have a certain trait called God Slayer. Um, he's he's not gonna be a, he's not gonna be at the top of the team, so this doesn't matter. But but this part here, if they are a boss, deal three to five uh, times damage based on my ascension. So I had to invest a fair amount of gems into this guy, and like also, like I said a few moments ago, he's actually one of the worst. Um, here I'll at least for this particular week. You got Todd. He's He's a self-looping troop. He requires green, and then he creates three green gems, boosted by war gear allies. At the stage that I'm in, you're going to be casting him a lot, and you're also going to be hearing a lot of. This is one of the again one of the worst voiceovers, voiceovers ever. Like I said, I wanted to play some rock music, but I also need to be able to concentrate and focus to do so. And one of the worst, one of the a really bad weapon to use. The only reason you have this in here is to create a leaf storm. He has, he has to have a leaf. I have to have a leaf storm up and running to make the most out of this guy. And then here, let me let me go back. 
I think uh, from yesterday's video, I think I have the, I have the team here. There's just pick him at random. Yeah. They they do such better stuff. Steal for attack and shift it into magic. If the enemy dies, entangle all enemies. So all these guys have uh, some kind of decent use outside of the uh, boss land. But again, um, for raid boss events, you're basically required to have a God Slayer troop, and it's usually um, it's usually of the uh, required kingdom. Uh, Prince of Basalt, probably my favorite one, cause create three elemental stars, cause he works with works with the Rock Band team. They also create the elemental stars, but you, you kind of get the idea. So I'm kind of going off the trail here. So so yeah, it just you you don't boost it by green gems. You actually don't. So he doesn't he doesn't really play that nice with uh with Todd because with this you don't really want a whole lot of green gems. Why? Because it be after you cast this, it becomes your opponent's turn. So if there's a whole bunch of green gems on the board, he's going to use all them against you. So, and then, and Phoenix, less than enchanted random ally. Great at the start, deals true damage. Or summon up hunters, which may come in handy. One or more of my guys gets killed. So. And then, oh, I guess I explained the boss. Something I forgot to do. You know, kills an enemy, creates six freeze gems, he'll be on the bottom. So. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much how raid boss works. Your first goal is to take off the boss and then everybody else. You didn't see it a, a minute or two ago. I'm at a I'm at level 391 now, so huge amount of stats to a point where one single cast ain't gonna ain't gonna one shot them. So I have to. Not once, twice maybe, and now. I have to look for uh, any four matches. Um, so I got lucky there. There we go. Uh, it's a repetition. is really bad. The only reason why I have it, in, you have it in the team, is to create a leaf storm. Because Todd's gonna need it just to keep his off, uh, just to be able to loop. Yeah, and 
Even then, the boost ain't that great. Plus eight, at least at the moment. And then, then you'll, I think it's, um, damage, I think it's a combination, I think it's a grand total of armor and their life, I think. But that's, that's how the raid boss works, and, and once again, it's a guild event, everybody here contributes, and boss level 800, boy, this guy's balls deep. 165,000. So, and then you you go over here, you know, your rewards. Um, yeah, we're we're at nine, and we still got a ways to go, but. Anyway, that's uh, that's that's raid boss, and that's how it's work. That's how it works, and I hope hope that helped. Uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll um, I'll be back on working on my blog. So take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.